Message. So happy new year, happy new year 2024. And I hope you are fine, you're healthy, and um, I wish you all the things you don't wish yourself this new year where we don't enter. So I'm Henry Crackhouse. And um, in today's video, I've just finished working out, you know, new year, new, you know. <laughs> So I've just finished working out, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about um We let's talk about um this phenomenon that uh, you know if you go to um you go to uh, you you go to the hospital, they always ask you this funny question. Huh? Um, let's talk about genetically um, inherited uh, diseases or. Like I would like to say, genetically inherited bull crap. How many of you don't go hospital? Hey, my Niger people, how na day? My Niger people in the house, what's gonna happen? How na day? How you guys? How is life? I hope say you're fine. I hope you're good. So let's talk genetically inherited bull crap, or what your doctors would like to call genetically inherited diseases. You know, how many of you don't go hospital? You don't go hospital and um, they gave you a piece of paper, kind of a form to fill. And after filling that form, when it's your turn to meet to talk to the doctor, the doctor or the nurse in charge will start asking you questions like, Have there been any incident of heart attack in your family? Has anybody in your family ever suffered high blood pressure? You know how doctors them talk. Eh? You know people like to speak English. You know they love speaking English so much. Eh? You know, someone has ever suffered high heart attack in your family? Uh, did anyone ever suffer him? Uh, you you know those kind of stupid questions, and you will be like, no, none that I know of. <laughs> like in my case, I always like. That time when I used to be sick because of my lifestyle, because of the life, uh, the lifestyle I used to live, I used to be sick like so frequent. But I can tell you guys, it has been like getting to five years now. I have not had a single headache. So um, at that time, whenever I go to the hospital, they always ask me, "Has anyone in your family ever suffered heart attack, rheumatism, kwashoko?" You know those kind of silly questions. Like, you know, like I, I, I was always like, "No, no, no." See, jokes aside, eh? jokes aside. There is nothing like genetically inherited diseases. No. Yes, you've inherited some things, and I'm gonna tell you those of some of those inherited genes you've inherited from your parents. And yes, you've inherited diabetics, fine, but you didn't inherit any genetic gene, uh, any diabetic gene or diabetic gene from your parent. You didn't inherit any diabetic high blood pressure genes from your parents no you did not inherit any heart attack heart failure gene from your parents no you inherited bad attitudes from your parents you inherited bad attitudes from your parents your parents inherited bad attitudes from their parents their parents in inherited bad attitudes from their their from their it goes way back. It goes way back. You didn't inherit any diabetics from nobody. You didn't inherit high blood pressure from nobody. You didn't inherit nothing, heart attack, heart failure, any of those things from anybody. You inherited bad attitude, bad way of feeding. <laughs> yes, you inherited drinking Coca-Cola from your parents. You inherited eating drinking cow milk from your parents you inherited drinking coffee tea with milk from your parents 
You inherited eating meat, cow meat, from your parents. You inherited eating fried chicken from your parents. You inherited eating fried fish from your parents. You inherited eating gari, fufu, pomo, pounded yam, ekusi, lots of it from your parents. You did not inherit diabetes. You did not inherit high blood pressure. You did not inherit heart, uh, heart uh, 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 is it, uh, what is it called? You did not inherit any uh, so-called diseases from your parents. You inherited bad attitude. You inherited bad way of living. You grew up meeting your parents eating cow skin. You met your parents eating goat pepper soup. You met your parents eating goat head. You met your parents eating fried fish, fried chicken. You met your parents eating fried rice, jollof rice with crayfish, ocean's cleaners. You met your parents frying egg and yam and plantain every morning. They call it breakfast. That's what you inherited. You did not inherit the diabetics. You didn't inherit high blood pressure. You did not inherit any pulmonary d d disease. No, you didn't inherit nothing. Arthritis. You didn't inherit none of those things. You inherited bad attitude. You inherited a fucked up way of life. <laughs> Oh, nothing, nothing say there for Abi. You grew into money. You grew up into money. Abi, you grew into money. You came into money, or you grew into money. So those who didn't, those who didn't, those who were not born rich. You grew up meeting your parents eating fufu in the morning. Fufu in the afternoon, fufu in the evening. That's what you inherited from your parents. Those who were born into wealth, into riches, you met your parents eating fried egg, fried plantain, fried yam, a pig milk. Is it not pig milk? Tell me I'm wrong. Is it not pig milk? Pig milk with tea in the morning. That's what you met your parents. That's what you grew into. That is what you came into. And these things now them they cause diabetic high blood pressure and uh, this thing uh, mediocre so I don't know if that is what it's called. Now these things and I they clock up your your veins. Now these things and I they give you migraine. Now these things now they cause your problems. Now these things now they cause diabetics. You didn't inherit any genetically any gene from nobody. If you stop those things, if you stop living that life, you won't pass any defect gene to your children. It's a fact. If you've not had children yet and you don't live that life, the life you saw you met your parents living, the gene you will pass down to your children will be clean, pure and healthy. So your children will not inherit anything from you. So nobody will be ask will be able to ask your children, did you did what happened? Your family suffering from blah 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 bullshit. <laughs> when I hear people say, you know, I know people always say, hey, it could be gene thing, you know, when things come out of You know, sometimes it is always very difficult eh, to have to discuss with women. To discuss with women, you saw pause and things coming out of your children's face, and you'll be like, "Yeah, this is your body trying to detox because you don't pass some certain age. You they enter another age, and the mother will say, "No, na puberty, na puberty, you in don't they enter adolescent to na gene." <laughs> and then I'm always like, and I'm like, okay, if you say so, if you say so, oh no, it's gene, it's gene, it's a, uh, uh, what is that word? It, oh, no, yeah, it's hormones, you know, hormones. That child has been eating chocolate, Nutella, all these things, all his life, 
Now he's 13, 14. His body is detoxing because he's moving into another phase of it. You know, another phase in his life. And the body is trying to get rid of those things to clean him out. And when you, who knows what is going on? When you try to help that your child or that your, those your children clean those things out, help the, the body detox well, no, some ignorant woman will say, no, it's hormones. So you just keep quiet. <laughs> and you tell your children, yeah, this is what is going on. This is what I know is going on in your body. And this is what I think you should do in order to help your body get rid of what your body is trying to get rid of. And just walk away. Before you start a fight with your wife or your mother or your sister or whomever. So today I wanted to talk about, I wanted us to talk about genetically inherited uh, diseases. I call it genetically inherited bullshit. Because you don't inherit shit from nobody. Yes, you inherit bad attitude. You inherit bad, bad attitude. Now bad attitude, fucked up attitude. Now you inherit from your parents. And now in them inherit from their parents. You inherited bad attitude. You inherited eating egg, eating plantain, fried ones, eating refined sugar. That's what you inherited from your parents. You didn't inherit any diabetics. You didn't inherit diabetics from nobody. You made diabetics yourself. You caused diabetics. Not your parents. You inherited that thing, the channel, the avenue of how to create diabetics. That's what you inherited from your parents. And if you educate yourself and move away from living that life and move away from that lifestyle, create another part, a different part for yourself, you will see that no doctor, no quote-unquote doctor will ask you, hey, has anybody in your family suffering diabetics? Why the fuck would they learn it? Why the fuck would someone ask you that question? Why the hell would you ask someone that such a question? And you call yourself a doctor. You call yourself a doctor. You asking someone, have anybody in your family suffering that? No! In my case, I'll say no. No. Has any doctor ever asked you what you eat, how your diet is, what your diet is made of? of? As your as any doctor, as a doctor ever asks you what you ate in the morning before visiting the hospital? Has any doctor ever took time sit with you and tell you, hey, and ask you to walk him through your dietary plans, how you feed yourself? No, they are interested in healing you, in prescribing drugs in order to suppress symptoms, the symptoms you're experiencing, in order to prevent your body from detoxing. They are interested in riding drugs to suppress the symptoms, to stop your body from doing what your body knows how to do best. It is a fact. <laughs> see, 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 see. See, um, human um, physiology, it is not difficult to understand human physiology. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know how your body works or what, how your body is supposed to work because you see it every day. You're experiencing it every day. If you go out, it's cold. Your body is going to make you understand that it's cold. You should get the fuck back in. You should go indoors. If you walk under the sun and it's too hot, your body is going to regulate your, the body's, your body's temperature and make you understand that, hey, it's too warm, too hot for me. It's not warm. Rather, it's hot. Find a protective area. <laughs> you only all you have to do is pay attention to your body you don't need fancy degrees to understand how your body works all you have to do is pay attention to the minimal you know to, to the tiny tiny mini 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 tiny things where your body they try to they show you if you know fit 
look at yourself and figure out what your body is trying to do look at the chicken in your house look at the cats in your house look at the goats in your house look at the dogs in your house take time take a stool sit down monitor your goats when they are in the pain i'm serious if you don't have time to monitor yourself if you think you're too stupid to figure out or, or, or to understand and follow your body Take a stool, sit down, monitor your goods when they are in the pain. You will see something. You will notice a pattern and you'll be, it, it, it will amaze you. It will amaze you. Nature is very powerful. Nature doesn't make mistakes. I've said these things to people over, over a million times. Nature don't make mistakes. We humans are the ones messing up things. We humans are the ones messing things up. Nature doesn't make mistakes. You are supposed to move like this. You have the free will. You have the will to direct your destination. That's a fact. You are a mini god. In fact, you are a god. You are not a mini god. You are a god. So you have the means, the free will to direct where you go how you move nature designs this this is how you should go but you then decide oh no i want to go this way that's on you that's on you that's on you pay attention to things where they happen around you you could understand say you don't need to be a rocket scientist to take care to live a healthy life see i used to think that having money Having money brings joy and happiness. Hell to the no. Take it from me. Hell no. Money doesn't make you happy. Good health. Good health. I would trade everything for good health. And I did. I did. The mere fact that I know that I'm healthy, I'm super healthy inside me, makes me so happy. You wouldn't believe it. The mere fact that I can run from where I'm sitting now, I can run from where I'm sitting now and cover like 10 kilometers without breaking a sweat, makes me so happy you won't believe it. This is not something we have not been fit do like 7-6 years ago because I was so unhealthy. But the mere fact say I understand and I know how healthy I am now, makes me so so happy that's why i don't give a shit about nothing again you see this life money comes you make money you don't let money make you you make money so use that money to take care of yourself see the sweetest thing is no see the the, 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 the sweetest and what's fun about the whole thing is if you have money in good health <laughs> you have money and good health. You you are able to sit in that fancy car, drive it. If something happens, you leave that car and take off on your feet. That's sweet. Believe me, that's sweet. You have money, you're healthy. When you have money, you should look for knowledge. Search for knowledge. Acquire as much enough knowledge as you fit. Because if you don't get knowledge, you don't know how to move. You won't know how to move. You won't be able to navigate through life. Because believe me, we live in a very toxic world. We live in a very toxic planet. Believe me, everything you are eating is genetically modified. <laughs> there are people who are out to kill you. Unknowingly, in most cases. In some cases, intentionally. The, the cucumber, the cucumber we eat here in Europe is different from the cucumber you, you're eating in Nigeria. Fact. <laughs> I can show you cucumber eating. The cucumber we buy even at the so-called quote-unquote bio shops. Even at the so-called organic market. I will show you the cucumber we eat here is different from the cucumber you're eating in Africa. Honestly speaking, I don't know which one is original. 
But I remember that I, I remember that time growing up that the cucumber I used to eat at our shop along Iko Tekbeno Road in Uyo used to have seeds in them. The cucumber I have been eating here, they don't have seeds. They have things, very tiny, tiny things that look like seeds. seeds. I don't even think they are seeds. <laughs> grapes. Grapes. Now, I, I, I haven't e e eaten grapes in about, in like two months now. Because I, have, I, have, I haven't been able to locate the ones with seeds. But there are grapes all over. Anytime I walk into the so-called bio-organic shops, there are grapes. But it's written on the pack, hey, grapes, seedless grapes. And I don't eat anything seedless because my question is, if it's seedless, how did they grow it? Because you can't reproduce a plant without seed. A plant can't reproduce itself without seed. Everything you're eating is genetically modified. The fish you guys are rearing in Nigeria, you're feeding them. <laughs> we cannot say things. We're going to piss some of them off. We cannot say things. So, we live in a very toxic planet. The to you know, the planet is so toxic, so, so so messed up that you really have to know how you move. If not, you're going to die not knowing. Ever wonder why you're working out, you're training, you're dieting, yet you are not able to get rid of that belly fat? Ever ask yourself why? You're working hard, you're working hard, yeah, you're jogging, you're going to the gym, yet you're still fat. You think you're eating healthy, yet you're still fat. See, you have to be smarter. You have to think differently. Everybody is telling you, eat this, eat that, eat that, eat that, eat that, and you're following their instruction. You're following what they are saying. If you don't do research, your own research, if you don't research things... If you don't do your own research, you're wasting your motherfucking time. Pardon my me cousin. But the get things where we say, you, you, you know, you can't express yourself without cursing. If you don't research things, if you don't do research, do your own research, you are wasting your time and money. Because these people will tell you, yeah, yeah, I'm good protein. Yeah, you need protein. You need to eat tuna fish. You, you, you need to eat this thing, this, 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 that, that. They will tell you, you need to eat the, these seeds, these seeds, and these seeds, and that. Do your own research. Because if you don't, you end up doing things. You see, you see, eh? you see, there is something I've noticed. I don't notice. You get this thing where I don't notice. Say, you get a certain group of people on this planet where things say the world revolves around them. Where we say they try to impose their own way of life on the whole planet because they can eat protein meat. You know, because if they eat protein meat, dead animals. They can break it down and absorb the protein. They tell this to the whole world that the whole world, hey, you should eat meat, you should eat fish, you should eat, eat this, this, this. See, the world is big. And if you last time I checked, there are different species on this planet. There are different species of creatures on this planet. Humans, there are different species of humans on this planet. So now we have been get to be one tell on a talk with an habitat. Genetically inherited diseases. There is nothing like that. Yes, you've inherited genetic things. Bullshit. Genetically inherited bullshit. Genetically inherited ways of eating bullshit. That's how I will say it. You've inherited eating fried fish. You've inherited eating bullshit from your parents. Your, your parents inherited them from their parents. And he has way, way back. I'm Henry Crackhouse. Like, share, subscribe. And this new year, try see how you could fit improve your life. Try see how you could fit change the things where you they do in your life. I'll see you in my next AB, uh, video. Till then, funny so the give back show is on the other Crackhouse channel. Till then, stay blessed and stay healthy. I'm out. <laughs>